Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, our YouTube channel where we talk about all kinds of backyard fruit tree growing, ornamentals, subtropical, tropical plants. In today's video, I want to tell you about my secret to getting lots of fruit and very green, healthy um, trees in my yard. And the way I do that is I give them a lot of nitrogen. Outside of a little bit of granular fertilizer, I give them lots of nitrogen. One of the other things we like to do besides grow fruit is surf and fish. And when you fish, Sometimes you catch more fish than you end up eating. That happens, that happened today. I wanna to get rid of some fish that we let sit in the refrigerator for a little too long. Uh, and also, either way, when you catch fish and you fillet it, you have waste left over, the carcass. So all that stuff can be buried right around your fruit trees and you'll be amazed at how, how much your fruit trees benefit from it. A fish, when it decays, releases a lot of nitrogen and nitrogen is one of the primary things that causes healthy leaf growth and can aid in the tree being uh, just generally strong all around. So okay, let's uh, get started. All right, so I'm standing under one of my favorite fruit trees, and this is the mulberry tree. We've got a number of other videos on our channel if you're interested in knowing how to grow them. They're very easy to grow from cuttings. This is the ever-bearing mulberry tree, which is one of about eight varieties I'm aware of that grows well in Florida. Uh, there's some other varieties that uh, grow well in northern areas. There's generally speaking a white, a black, and a red variety of mulberries, but this is the everbearing, meaning it gives fruit year-round, and it's very hardy. You can see on this branch here, it is just loaded with fruit, and that's terrific. Now, one of the things I can do to help this fruit really come in large and strong is to give it some nitrogen. I happen to have had a very successful, successful fishing trip, and I have some leftover fish that we didn't have a chance to eat, and I don't want it to go to waste, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant it at the base of this tree. See, it's not that much fish that was left over, but it smells pretty fishy. But uh, it's enough. So there's a couple things we need to keep in mind when we plant this stuff around the tree. One is make it deep enough so that the cats in the neighborhood and other animals, raccoons we have here, um, don't smell it and don't try to dig it up because if you leave any of it near the surface, that will happen. And another thing is you wanna not really um, kill too many of the roots when you dig the hole and I want to plant it pretty close to the base of the tree. So let's get started. All right, so this tree, these trees don't get very large, the, the everbearing type. Now this tree is about 10 years old and uh, it stands up to the weed whacker treatment pretty well. It's got a pretty dense St. Augustine grass growing around it and right here I've got a, fertile, I've got a uh, sprinkler that I don't have any sprinkler head on from time to time. I'll put it on during the summer to get extra water. I know that this sprinkler line runs this way. You know, that's one thing in your yard. You, if you have irrigation, you really need to understand which way the pipes run so that you don't put the shovel right through it. Uh, and I know that the roots from the tree are gonna generally grow out in this direction with side roots growing out. So when I put the shovel in, I wanna do it this way to cut as few roots as possible. So here we go. All right, about as deep as it'll go. Got one nice cut there, I'm gonna do another one. I also don't wanna disturb the roots of the grass that much. Okay, I went to go get a sea grape stick in order to push these fish down there. I really wanna make sure I get a pretty deep, deep hole. All right, good, good hole in there. fish right now. in there, jam it down as deep as it will go, spread it out a little bit in the hole if at all possible, that, that way you have a chance of it hitting as much roots as possible, Oops. stick, pour some of that dirt back on it, and I'm going to pack it down. I'm going to grab a little bit more soil and just put it into the crack to kind of seal it up. And there you have okay, it. Okay, well, I hope you learned a little something. Maybe you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to Eat Your Backyard if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out.